Hello again and welcome to Retro PC Refurbs. We have the final video on should I upgrade my computer or buy a graphics card. Here is the Xeon E3-1230 which has four cores and eight threads running at 3.2 gigahertz with a boost to 3.6. Now you should have been seeing an i7-3770 but this wasn't working and to buy an i7-2600 was around £30 and I wasn't going to spend that. So the E3-1230 sits somewhere in between the two and is almost as fast as the 3770. This is still paired with the RX 5700 XT. Village at the Copla for a long time. Finally caught up with them. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Shit. All right, let me see. Wait, 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 here. Down this way. Tracks are fresh. So where the hell did you learn to track shit anyway? Used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. I am readying my body for back. Uh, <laughs> You know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not... Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damage good. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. my chair. Oh. See you on the other side!
strongly urge that you respect this safety measure established by your government. So the conclusion to the whole series. Forget the G series and the i3s, but the i5 and the i7, albeit the Xeon in this case, are worth keeping hold of. The idea for this series was that if you already have an ex-corporate machine and only £100 to play with, then it's worth buying a graphics card for it. And you should be looking to get a 10 series, 1050 Ti or a 1060 and the AMD equivalent RX 4 series or 5 series. You could also use the top end R9, R9 Fury which will have similar performance but watch out as the drivers are now discontinued. But there are modded drivers out there for these cars and this should see you through till you can buy that dream machine with LEDs so bright you have to wear shades. With the said cards you will be looking at a similar performance to the benchmarks as the limiting factor is the CPU which will be the bottleneck in modern titles. And of course if you have a budget of a thousand pounds then you should buy a whole new system. The E3 did very well and you should expect the same results with the two i7s mentioned before. How long these will last still playing modern titles is anyone's guess but I would expect over the next few years the instruction sets will start to be phased out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.